All right, so day two down here at Bradenton Motorsports Park. Uh, yesterday was a success. By now, you should have already seen the video. Uh, we are making progress on prenup. Switching over to pulleys, you know, really changed a lot for us. And but it's something that we we learned as well. We're not allowed to. We're now allowed to take this information. And if we wanted to swap back and forth throughout the year, we can. So that's the good thing about it. Um, and uh, now we're gonna go into a test session again today. It's extremely hot. It's 84 degrees outside. On big tires, guys, that's usually what we run. We could go down the track at night, during the day, whatever. These radials are a little bit more finicky. So we're gonna go out there. Like Dad said, we're gonna try to just go A to B, get us a good tune-up on the motor. We gotta make it to the finish line, but also get us a good tune-up for Sunday's race. We need to go out there and in case it is extremely hot on Sunday, first, second round, we need to have somewhat of a tune-up to be able to go down the racetrack. Not all races happen at night and not all races can we just throw the kitchen sink at it and run as fast as we can. So this round here, it's extremely hot. Let's hope it just leaves the starting line. Let's go down track, let's get some data and let's see if we can prepare for our next pass where it'll be a little bit cooler and then we have first round of qualifying tonight where i believe is going to be a nighttime session and if we can make a pass there that's when we can drop the hammer and see what we can do with prenup <laughs> First pass uh, of the day, we did good. We were able to make it off the starting line. It's the hottest point in the day. The track, I believe, was 94 degrees. Um, that is pretty hot for a radial, so we were happy just to go down. You know, that twin turbo, I, I cut a good light. I was able to get out in front, and you know, he, he came around us at the end. Uh, that's one of the guys that we were gonna grudge race, but they did not wanna lock in. They got that win. Uh, congratulations to them. You know they got to the other end some of their people was like all right let's time let's bet so maybe later on tonight we'll see if they want to bet and we'll kind of lock this thing in and go back at them uh, we had a pretty good a to b soft tune up in it uh to be able to go down that track to learn some data for if we have to run on a surface like that or in uh you know uh conditions that we're in but uh we were happy with that dab is happy with that so guys got all serviced around but let me go ahead and uh congratulate my guys real quick um matthew austin brian you know i i ran down to to get some parts for uh the car i was looking for a different blower belt uh size because you know usually we run a uh 1672 
uh, 75 millimeter belt uh, on on the blower and the pulleys. Well, we went to a smaller pulley, so when I put that on, it stretched the belt out pretty far. So I was looking for a 1600 series. I got it all swapped over, got everything ready, and while I was doing that, they were able to get the chutes packed, get the car serviced. They went through the valves. They got everything ready to go for this next pass. Do what now? Yeah, I'll, I'll get with him in a minute. Tell him he can come on in here. Uh, guys, coming over to buy a battery from us, guys. Uh, we are a dealer for Braille batteries. The only batteries that I use in my cars. Great fucking battery to use. Up, um, but uh, best battery out there. But uh, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Um, we're gonna get ready for our next pass. It looks like this is gonna be our second pass and um, and not our last because I'm talking about last pass for testing. Uh, they're doing one round of qualifying tonight because we run no time. We don't get to light the boards. So there's no real. Uh, you know, no real passes there. Um, but, uh, you want that? Yeah, I can. Okay. Um, there's no, there's no real, like, qualifying sheet, I guess you want to say. But they are going to give us one more hit tonight. And that's, you know, under the, under the dark skies, uh, the lights out. And that's where we're going to be able to make some power. Dad's getting a good tune up on the car. And, uh, we're just going to have to keep taking it, you know, pass by pass. We're getting faster and faster. And we're, uh, we're getting more consistent. So that's a good deal. So we're going to get ready. And we're going to go up there for our next pass here in a little bit. sitting around all day we were able to uh, go into our first round of qualifying and we do got a race car we were able to make that last pass prenup is running good the guys are back here right now getting everything ready getting service they're gonna get the valve covers off we're gonna go through the valves these are the plugs came out yeah the gray ones the gray ones here yeah all right we'll go in here and get those to dad real quick before he gets out of here and then uh we're gonna service this thing guys and once we get done servicing it um, get it all set up, get ready for tomorrow. I think we get two hits tomorrow. We have our big grudge race tomorrow night. Um, I want to say it's five or ten thousand dollars. So we're going to play that out and see what we can do there. Uh, but uh, we're ready for it. Let's see what happens. What's wrong with you? Wiggle it. There you go. Well, it looks like. Uh, Everything is good on the car. How'd you run? Well, uh, it's climbed a ring gear. When I left good, went a 108 on the back tire. Nice. Hey, the one out of it. Hell yeah. Can't be scared your whole life. <laughs> That's what I said. The, uh, the guys got the parachutes all packed. Uh, they done ran through the valves. They got everything situated. I told y'all by Sunday, they gonna have this shit down packed. They're doing a phenomenal job right now. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and let the car down and we're gonna put it inside the trailer, get it all loaded up and uh, get everything ready for tomorrow. If y'all haven't done it already guys, make sure you turn that bell notification on. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Keep liking the videos. We couldn't do this without y'all. We're on the road to 100,000 followers. So let's see what we can do.